27 First News anchor Dave Sess headed back to Weathersfield today. He spoke with neighbors who are still on edge tonight. Dave kicks off our top story coverage right now. And those two places you talked about are seven miles apart, but that three hours between all this stuff that happened, that's what everybody wants to know, what was going on. And one thing we'll never know, just so what those family tensions were that may have triggered all of this. But Richard Latimer, uh, he had warrants issued for his arrest after a domestic dispute in Howland at 1 a.m. yesterday. He was wanted for domestic, domestic violence and also obstructing official business. Then last night, well, he blew up and went on a string of violence. A broken window, one sign that something happened at this house in Weathersfield. The 911 call was a woman reporting that her husband killed a man there. Please go to 3518 Main Street. He was there with the gun. He shot the man. Please go help me. He's coming after me and my daughter. Neighbors heard and saw the police response. The questions immediately began forming in their mind. Why is all these cop cars here? There were at least, first there was one, then there was another and another, and then an ambulance came. Van Blevins had been shot and killed. He had only been living in the house for a month. Richard Latimer was identified as the suspect, and people living nearby wondered where he had gone after the shooting. It was just a total mess. I was watching out the kitchen window, and I was worried if they were going to come here. You know, you didn't know where the guy was going or where he was hiding, so we were all kind of scared. So we turned our lights off and acted like we wasn't even home. Police even guarded Mineral Ridge High School during a basketball game in case Latimer wandered toward the school. Concern was growing around Weathersfield, wondering if Latimer had been caught, and that continued through the night. Rick Allred told me he wasn't taking any chances and kept his two children home from school. They wasn't saying if they caught the guy or anything like that, so I didn't send my kids to school today. I mean, I was concerned, you know, last I heard he was in the neighborhood. There was a small sense of relief when late this afternoon, the Weathersfield police chief confirmed that the shooting was related to another in Howland in which police shot a man. Well, then we don't need to worry. We can sleep tonight. And the coroner confirms that Richard Latimer is dead. The man suspected behind this shooting here identified by the 911 caller. And that window I showed you, the broken window, it's been boarded up in the back of the home. The landlord showed me that from the outside today. Also, you can hear what role that played in the 911 call. We've posted it all at WKBN.com. Live from Weathersfield, where they're breathing easier tonight. Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.